guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I have a haul for you guys. So, these are so cute. I went to Michael's, and I know, oh, help if I'm in frame. I went to Michael's, and I went by their, like, UV resin um, area when I was looking for sprinkles, long story short. I needed sprinkles for an item. And then I saw that they had these like UV sprinkles and I was like, how cool would that be to do like an ice cream theme or just kind of adding it in and adding different colors? I thought this was super cute. There's even some hearts in there. And I think these are some circles. Yeah, I think. Anyway, I got these guys. And then I also saw these flowers. I know everybody was into these, like, was it last year, the year before? Honestly, I can't remember. I feel like it was two years ago. Like, it comes in waves when these are popular, but I think these are fun, and honestly, I'm excited to use them this summer. So got these from my local Michaels. Next up, I picked up Ooh, bunch of files. So this I believe is a 30 pack of files. I could be wrong. Um, I picked this up because these files are so much better than the cheap ones I got off of um, AliExpress. I'm able to use this, again, I do my nails, so I'm able to use this sometimes twice, maybe three times, I'm sorry maybe three times, always twice. So I can always use it again, where the other ones, if I'm doing like a larger set, it could it could be I need two in one set. Now, that doesn't necessarily happen that often, it's usually one toss, but this, I feel like I can hang on to these at least a couple sets. So, picked up more of these guys. And then you guys know, I am about out of my one set. Let me bring up my other guy. So I'm obsessed with pink one set. And I had a, I think this was 60, I mean 30 milliliters. Honestly, I have no idea. And I can hold it upside down because I am that low. Like it looks wicked dark because of like, it's literally at the bottom. Like, there it is, there's the bottom. So you can see I'm like right there. So I usually don't wait that long to replace my core gels, but I had not purchased, honestly, Light Elegance in probably two years, maybe a year and a half. Um, look at that. Look at that color, literally pink one step. I think it's one of their darkest um, cool pinks, I believe. So you can see how much more pinky and dark the pink one step is. And I find for like the pink extreme, so my nails have been grown out. You can see that there is grown out, but you can see it doesn't cover up that area very well because A, I mean it's getting obviously less product towards the tip, but I also feel like it kind of just doesn't give me, no, mess that one up. Doesn't give me the darkness I like. And then I picked up some glitter gels. There's actually a couple of their, um, solid gels that I was eyeing, but you guys know, they're, in my opinion, no better, how would I say this? No better hard gel, I feel like, brand comes out with better glitters than Light Elegance. I said it, so I'm biased, I will say that. So this one is, don't frame me. Okay. Just a little bit of around the world. There it is. This is literally your perfect Easter color. And honestly, I kind of want this on my nails. So it has those Eastery colors, 
but also has fine multicolor glitters. Okay, I'm excited to swatch that one. Swatch this bad boy. Now, I will state when I do glitter gels, because it's been a while since I've swatched um, Light Elegance glitter gels, I place the glitter where I want it to go. So I'm not one that will do a million layers. I will do kind of a slip layer and then apply the gel. So I'm not doing a million layers. I'm not just wiping it on, hoping for the best. No, I place it where I want it to go. And that's why I like to encapsulate glitters because of that very reason. So like I would do something like this and then come over with a second layer, but I want more in the middle and that's why I get away with it because I do encapsulate my glitter gels and thicker. So that's gonna be obviously, I mean, oh my God, I'm obsessed. Okay, I'm gonna cure that. Next one is Monet All Day. And this one is, yeah. So there have been quite a few releases. Again, since I have picked up some glitter gels, but when I saw this one, I honestly had to have it. So this one, since it is a fine glitter, I would go ahead and do my slip layer. Okay. Grab a bigger bead. Again, that's probably gonna be way too much for the swatch stick, but you know, YOLO. Bigger bead, and I place it where I want it to go. This one, I think you could get away with a little bit of a thinner coat, especially if you do this under a baby pink. Next up is Nudie. Right. Honestly, I think I'm about to put those on my nail. Just saying. I originally wanted that other one, like the multi multi color one, but this one just, oh my goodness, might be screaming my name. It even looks good, pretty sparse. I mean, it still can like dense, but you know what I mean. Again, coming down, placing it where I want it, which is essentially the slip layer and then keep most of the bulk in the middle. All right, so ironically, I was thinking this is a lighter French press. This is French press here. This is Pixie Party um, Champagne, which has hollow in it. And then, here we are to like the nudes and golds. So that is smoothie for anyone wondering if it's close to smoothie. So smoothie does have that silver undertone, but it also has hollow and it is more nude than nudie. So let me do that. So smoothie is the one that is labeled this one. And then this is nudie. This is French press compared to nudie. It honestly reminds me identical to this type of formula, except it's silver and that light pink. Here is pink diamond against nudie, and you can tell nudie is obviously a more nude pink, but when you put it next to nudes, it looks more pink. So it's in between, I would say pink diamond, French press, and that smoothie, French press obviously being darkest, and then so on. Here is pink lace against Monet. Here is be in your bonnet, sweet nothing. Vetro prism, obviously the Vetro is super, super fine. 
Here is Pink Diamond. Okay, so I forgot I have some that I have not put in literally in like, I don't know, at this point, two years. So here is Sweet Tea, and this is Shake Your Salt Shaker. I'm gonna add these guys. So Nudie, oh, I'm not even in frame. Here is Sweet Tea, here is Shake Your Salt Shaker. This is Nudie up here, and then this is Monet All Day. Completely forgot I had these tucked away in a container that I have to file away for the last two years. I know, don't judge me. So I want to show you this guy. Now, this is Meet Me in the Blueberries, and this has holographic pieces in it, and it still looks satiny as well, but this one is a little bit more satiny, and I'm trying to think where I put that pink one I wore all last year. All right, this is Sweet Tea, which is that partner to Blueberry. I'm not sure if you can see the holographic where this one literally feels like it's all satin. There's obviously like a silver satin in it, but I wanted to show you this one. Couldn't find the swatch stick, and this is the one I was actually thinking it would be the closest to, but it's not even close. So that's good. Honestly, I don't even have anything comparable to this. All right, last but not least, I went ahead and picked up some more of these kind of, I guess, they're probably picture holders, I think is what they're called. But I put my stickers in it, so let me pull out that. But I had to pick up some more, if you watch my recent organizing. So I put my stickers in it because a lot of times they are too large to go in some of the other organizers. So these ones fit perfectly. I get them off Amazon. I'll link them below. Um, but they come shipped in flat and then here you can see that there's two marks. You bend it the other way so you bend it this way and it becomes a book and it's super easy. I love these guys. Highly recommend these ones especially for your larger stickers. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.